Looking to make it a dozen wins in a row. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Gross. The Imperial Tigers girls basketball team wrapped up the Imperial Valley League title and look to keep the good times rolling tonight against league rival Brawley to Emma Lou Hansen Jim for a big Valley showdown between the Tigers and the Wildcats. Let's go to the early first quarter. The Tigers' Nayeli Cordona with the three-point attempt from the near wing. It's off the mark, but watch junior captain Sierra Morris on the offensive board and the putback draws the foul. Brawley on the other end looking to keep this game close. A pivot down low and the fadeaway draws a Tiger foul. More Tigers on defense this time, though, as they're going to turn up the pressure on Brawley. Senior guard Paulina Rangel with the steal and the drive, which will evoke the foul right here. She'll go to the line. Next, Zamara Cardona with the left-handed attempt off the mark, but Amy Riley's there to clean up for Imperial. Nice job, Amy, down low. Moments later, it's Cardona yet again, this time to Morris, and they're just going to find Riley down low underneath. Tigers uh, start this game on a 14-0 run. Imperial sweeps the season series over Brawley, cruising to a 58-17 win. In Yuma at the Hawks Nest with Gila Ridge hoping that senior night would add an extra boost to the Hawks playoff chances. Let's go to the first quarter. Katrina Ray forces a steal and Michaela McCarroll takes it the other way on a break and she gets hacked on her layup attempt on the other end, sending her to the free throw line. McCarroll would knock down the first free throw, but she would not connect on the second attempt, which would foreshadow much of the rest of the quarter for Gila Ridge. McCarroll would try to set up the home Hawks offense, giving up the rock to Holly Binder, but a long range shot from downtown would hit nothing but iron. The iron unkind. A few plays later, the Hawks in transition. Binder calls her own number, misses the jump shot. McCarroll with the board and another chance, but again, that shot not going down. Gila Ridge struggling to get early buckets, but Apollo would start to heat up. Jacqueline Pham launches this three ball and the three pointer puts the home team in an early 6-1 hole, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Gila Ridge did just that, getting the 40-31 to win, and now they wait to see if they make the playoffs. To the Palace on Prison Hill at Yuma High for senior night with coach Kurt Weber and the Criminals looking to win the season finale against Yonker. Early first quarter, crims up by seven. And Tamari Patterson to senior Isaac Lopez for the easy bunny. Yuma extends the lead to nine. Moments later, Tamari Patterson from the far wing drives down low. His shot deflected, but cleaned up by senior Connor Franklin, who makes good on the floater, crims by 11. Next possession, Max Pacheco is going to do all the work himself. The sophomore hops down the lane and finishes with the right-handed lay-in. Crims extend the lead to 13. And near the end of the first quarter, senior Isaac Lopez drives the baseline, hits the short jumper. Yuma starts the game on a 15-0 run. Final score in the season finale, Crims win 68-43. Isaac Lopez, the senior, led the way with 32 points. To Central Union High School in El Centro, where Raul Navarro and the Brawley Wildcats looking to avoid a season sweep against Juan Valenzuela and the Central Spartans. Late fourth quarter, Wildcats down to 52-46 and guard Jalen Mack with the steal and the left-handed layup. Brawley down by four. Moments later, check out Mack once again. He's going to get the miss coming up here very shortly. The miss underneath. But the physicalness underneath the hoop. Mack would draw the foul, head to the charity stripe with Brawley down 55-48. Mack makes one of two to pull the catch within six. Spartans looking to put the nail in the coffin. Jacob Vargas on the drive and gets the tough basket and draws the foul. Central wins another close one with Brawley, taking the 65-54 win and sweeping the season Series. There it is, 65-54. To Boys State Soccer, AIA playoffs round one. The 14th seeded Yuma Catholic Shamrock season came to an end today at Phoenix Country Day, 9-1. The Eagles will next play the 11th seed, Basis Phoenix in the quarterfinals. Basis knocked off the 6th seed Coolidge, 3-2 in overtime. In college softball, the Arizona Lady Banadors had a tough time today against the Coyotes of Chandler Gilbert. The Lady Mats dropped the doubleheader following 13-12 and 15-5. The Lady Mats are now 5-6 on the season. And Arizona Western will be back in action on Saturday when they travel to Phoenix to take on the Bears. And over the weekend, uh, Arizona Western lost uh, a family coach in Jim Amick. He coached the Matadors men's basketball team to 292 wins and two trips to the NJCAA National Tournament. Kirch Amick will be truly missed. That's all the time we have for sports.